In today's video, we will have a look at some MR images from a new generation scanner that applies deep learning algorithms to enhance the image quality. And that's the GE Air Recon DL algorithm. And you might have seen this from uh, the online presentations or also as uh, adverts on LinkedIn or other platforms where they show you this comparison between the old image quality and the promising new land of enhanced image quality. But this is just like uh, promotional material and I was curious to see how it looks in real life and that's what we are going to have a look at right now. So I reached out to GE and asked them to send me some MSK images that are using the Ericon DL algorithm. So they sent me some images and I'm okay to show them here on my YouTube channel. But the opinion is obviously just mine, it's my impression and my thinking about these images and there is nothing else to disclose here, so uh, that's all good. And now let's have a look. So before we start here with the first example, just a few notes. All the images were acquired with a GE Pioneer or Signa Pioneer 3 Tesla MR scanner and you can see here on your left hand side is the normal image or normal sequence and on your right hand side it's the same sequence but enhanced with a recon DL so that explains the same timestamp etc but uh, we will have other opportunities to compare other sequences as well at least in some examples and now to have a, a little bit uh, better overview I will just make this text go away and also we will zoom in a little bit here Okay, now an another uh, note here, I'm not like very deep into this kind of technical stuff or physics or how it works in the background with uh, all this deep learning, etc. So for me, it's really just about image quality and what I work with in daily practice. So I, I will not really go into the technical side of things. I think there is a lot of information out there and it's really I want to show you here a few examples how the images are looking with the Eric on the So here on the shoulder and you can already see on the non-enhanced image that it's very grainy, very noisy image and especially also outside of the body we have all this noise happening whereas on the Eric on DL sequence or after the enhancement it's way less and the image looks very smooth, um, no, no noise, it's, it looks really it's pleasant to look at, to say the least. Um, now, as if we look for like pathologies, we can see kind of like a paralabral cyst here. We can certainly make all the diagnoses also on the other sequence here. Um, but if you look, for example, at the cartilage, it just looks, it just looks nicer. And it looks much nicer, to be honest. And uh, the image has somehow the impression that it's a little bit sharper as well. If you look at the lines, uh, tendons, etc. So it looks great. And you see also here with cysts, or even here with this kind of tiny, tiny vessels, that we are not calculating information away or, or something like that. So the information is still there with the enhanced image. And we can see the same information also here it's just the noise that's basically gone so the shoulder looks pretty nice to be honest so um, i think in this example there is also like a other sequence like a propeller sequence here and this one let me just make this the same size and i think this one is more like what you would expect on a clinical scanner but as far as i can tell so this one is without a recon DL and this would be now we can also see this from the timestamp it's a separate sequence and really this would be the real comparison because the other sequence was very noisy and it's probably yeah a little bit noisy also on purpose to really show the effect but you can see we really also compared to this propeller sequence the image looks pretty nice and we have all the same information here it looks even a bit sharper especially around vessels etc but that's probably more an issue of the propeller sequence rather than the benefit of this one here so very nice 
so let's move on here to the next case and this is now a T1 as you can see here this is again the standard one this one is with every county L and um, timestamp is different so maybe they actually scanned it twice so that's good so we have actual comparison here of two sequences I'll make this go away so we have a better overview and let's scroll through and what I notice at right away is the bone looks really sharp like the trabecular structure looks really really sharp that's really nice and as you can see also the cartilage let me just scroll through here in the cortical bone it looks super crisp subcutaneous fat tissue it's in general like way sharper impression right so that's already very good and very impressive now let's let's go I'll make this one a little bit bigger so you can see here now this being a t1 sequence um, there is not really a good sequence to demonstrate some pathology or something but i think the anatomy is really nice depicted really nice okay And this is now a uh, T2 fat set and you can immediately see this all this noise here which might be a little bit more than you would normally have on your own sequences and again the sharpness is quite impressive um, look at this really nice ligaments and the plantar plates of the lesser toes it's really amazing and now let's have a look at the cartilage at the level of the great toe so let's focus on the greater toe here so we can see the this kind of interest is ganglion cyst and I mean, even this sequence is not too bad and you can see any cartilage defects if there were any but here it's really looking super crisp and also here so i start to think that we might actually be able to see stuff better or, or new stuff or very very subtle pathologies and we will maybe get even into trouble to really make the proper conclusion and suddenly everything will be pathologic or something like that so it will be interesting to see how this works out in the future okay so this sequence was labeled as uh, pelvic MRI for endometriosis um, so I have basically no clue about this kind of stuff here so we will just focus on the sacrum and we can go in zoom a little and have a look here so we kind of see like a double line here which might be a, a little bit a artifact or artificial stuff and um, if I remember correctly there is some there are some parameters that you can also use and tweak to maybe have less of a comic or drawing like feeling but nevertheless it looks very sharp and um, it's a different impression and i like it a lot so that's that's good and if we quickly want to have a look at the structures here in the abdomen so all so sharpness is, is quite remarkable so looks really good So here on the pelvis, this is still from the same protocol for endometriosis, um, but it's, it kind of looks a little bit artifacty with this kind of double cortical line here. Um, that's that would be a little bit annoying, but maybe the protocol is not optimized for like a proper musculoskeletal uh, study. So. That's something I would not want to have in my MSK studies but again this was more for the uh, endometriosis kind of things uh, so but just to keep in mind now here a cervical spine although it's quite a large field of view and this is now really remarkable look at the myelon it's super crisp and maybe we better go a little bit bigger something like this 
So this I like quite a lot. Um, it's, it's really, really, really nice to look at. Very smooth, no noise. Um, so this is really great. Even the brain, and I think on the brain they also showed in this kind of commercials really nice images here. But that's not for me to cover, so I'll leave this to the neuro guys. But uh, yeah, I like the discs and I like the sharpness. That's really great. So this is, um, I think, from the same patient. And again, you can see how the image in China looks very sharp. Although all the, I mean, all the information is on this image as well. It's really just the impression, but I like it a lot. And if we zoom in into the area of pathology, we can even see this kind of black line here, even in the tumor, we can see all the lines, etc. So it's not calculating information away, like with uh, metal artifact reduction sequences on CT, for example. And yeah, it's really just more pleasant to look at. It might not really add too much diagnostic value in some areas, but that's something that needs to be figured out in the future. But the image quality is really amazing. And this is after gadolinium administration. I mean, again, all the information is there. It's, it's just maybe easier to see. Let's zoom in for this kind of vessel up here. Here, it pops out a little bit better. Um, yeah, so really, really nice image quality. So now here with a knee, and even here you can see the image quality is so much better. Very sharp stuff, cartilage looks really nice and crisp. You can easily see this kind of synovial changes and also you know the cartilage fibrillations up here, the fissures. It's really nice, nice to see. Tendon looks super great. And this is now a axial T2 where we can see this kind of cartilage fissures etc. All this kind of ganglion cyst, etc. So, can you maybe go big? Okay, looks really nice. And here a great toe. And again, I think this is one of the better examples how you really get added benefit. Look at the trabecular structure. It looks really, really nice on the Eric on DL sequence. And also the cartilage, you would probably feel way more confident in assessing cartilage defects on that sequence compared to that one, although probably the information is all there. Um, it's just so much more pleasant to look at. I, I know I'm, I'm repeating myself here, but uh, still. Now, one of the issues that I, I have is if you look at the ligament or the capsular ligament structures here on the middle side of the greater toe, we we start to see like stuff that we might not really give that much attention on this side or on the old image quality or in that image quality. So it will be interesting to see when we start to call things abnormal and it will probably require some time and adjusting until we really know what is just within limits or when we should start something called scarred or maybe even uh, you know degenerated so that will be probably a challenge and might even be worth doing some studies about this and then if you do it you can do this for every joint and probably do just 10 studies for the same thing so that's uh, somebody somebody will do a lot of scientific research about this i guess nice so this is a T2 fat set. I'm just scrolling through so you can make up your own mind. Um, don't want to say again that it's really looking great.
yeah and here in the thumb sesamoids and also I like the fact that the noise outside of the body is basically limited it adds, it adds a lot it adds a lot to the impression of superior image quality so and at last I will still quickly show you a brain in case you have to read brain studies I occasionally do that but not so often and this is just a T1 and it's really really great so that's why they probably also show this in the in the demos and the ad and the promotional material um, again the information is there it's, it's really just so much more pleasant to look at and I can imagine how this actually adds to the confidence of the radiologist although that's not really a uh, objective parameter but it's really nice looking and then they even have a t2 so here i think this is also a good example how really nice this looks so there are some pulsation artifacts in the liquor which tends to happen but obviously that's not something that the software can uh, correct for but if you look at the cochlea and the nerves and these kind of vessels here inside it's all there but it's really just sharper and so much smoother really nice yeah that's it this is again the same the great toe that we have already seen so i'm convinced guys uh, honestly it's really amazing image quality and i'm really looking forward to eventually work with such images more frequently so we'll see so that's it for this week uh, if you have a opinion on this if you like it or if you don't like it please let me know in the comments below and we can have a little discussion there I think it's very uh, promising and it looks really great and I'm curious to see this even more in the future. And with that, thanks for watching and see you next time.